What if you got to your retirement years and suddenly realized you just really had not saved enough money for your retirement lifestyle? Well, I know that many of the clients that we speak to are in this particular situation. And when you are faced with this dilemma, you're going to have to figure out ways to utilize all of your resources that are available to you to make sure that you can live a comfortable lifestyle throughout your retirement years. And one of the tools that many people may want to consider is a reverse mortgage. In today's Tuesday Tips, we are going to be talking about the ins and outs of a reverse mortgage, so stay locked in. Hi, my name is Carson Graves, Certified Financial Planner and President and CEO of the Retirement Education Center, and I want to welcome you once again to our Tuesday Tips, where today we are going to be discussing a reverse mortgage. What is a reverse mortgage? A reverse mortgage is going to be something that I think that many people, especially now in the United States, will be considering in the future because it's becoming so very expensive just to live here. So as a financial advisor, I think that it is very important that we talk about this particular financial tool. So let's go ahead and jump into our lesson today. So first of all, let's talk about what is a reverse mortgage. A reverse mortgage is simply a means of raising cash by using the equity in your home. Now, unlike a home equity loan or a home line of credit, you, the homeowner, do not have to pay this loan back. So this is money that is reversed to you. You as a homeowner will only be required to pay this loan back if you move out of that home or if you pass away, then your kids will sell this asset and pay off the loan with the equity value in the property. Or if you choose to pay the equity interest on this particular loan, that's the only time that you would be required to pay this loan back. So how does a reverse mortgage work? What are the ins and outs of doing this? First of all, you, the homeowner, have to be at least 62 or older. If you are married, both you and your spouse must be 62 or older. So you can't be 65 and your spouse 59 and you do a reverse mortgage. You have to wait until he or she turns to the age of 62 or older to do a reverse mortgage. So once you are actually qualified to get a reverse mortgage, it's going to allow you to utilize part or all of the equity in your home to get tax free, and I repeat, tax free income from this particular loan. So you do not have to pay any taxes on this money that you are receiving from your reverse mortgage. The lender is actually going to pay you the homeowner. And how do they pay you? They pay you in three different ways. They can pay you in one lump sum payment. They can pay you like an annuity, fits monthly payments, or you can take a line of credit or utilize a combination of all three of these. Now I will say that the most popular type of way that I see my clients using a reverse mortgage is through a line of credit because it basically just gives you the freedom to use this money how you like. There may be times where you need to go in and take some of that money from the line of credit and there may be times where you can say, well, I don't need it right now. But it just gives you the flexibility of knowing that there is some tax free cash once this type of loan has been made available to you. So the last thing I want to make note of is who would a reverse mortgage be for? One, it's going to be best suited for someone who's older, obviously 62 or older, and has a lot of equity in their home. So if you don't really have a lot of equity in your home, a reverse mortgage might not be very suitable for you at the time. Another person that this may be suitable for is someone who lacks a steady stream of income or an emergency cash fund. If you don't have enough cash on hand or if you don't have enough income coming in monthly, a reverse mortgage may be right up your alley. So you might want to consider it. And to me, another person who might be very suitable for this type of loan would be a retiree who has not saved enough for their retirement goals. This is typically who I see take out these types of loans. Perhaps they're very, very close to the uh, edge when it comes to their retirement income. And by taking out that reverse mortgage, it can put them above water where they can do the things they always thought they would be doing in their retirement years, like traveling, going to see their grandkids and other things they just may want to do. Perhaps they wanted to put that new kitchen in their home and they didn't have the resources to do it. Well, this would absolutely be the type of tool that a person could utilize 
and be able to live a lifestyle that they were really promising themselves. So consider this particular type of mortgage if you think you fall into this category. So I really do hope that today's Tuesday tip gave you some insight on if or why you might want to consider a reverse mortgage. Please understand that these videos are created for educational purposes only and that you should always seek out your own financial advisor, your own tax advisor, and your own attorney regarding your personal situation. Also, if you are looking for a fiduciary financial advisor, we highly recommend that you utilize the link on the screen and go ahead and schedule a one hour free consultation with us today. And if you found this information to be beneficial, we only ask that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share with others. Thank you.